Um, I just wanted to come to you with um, a short video of um, what I'm planning to do with my hair for the month of February. Anyways, um, I have been, in February, I will be natural for one year and nine months. Yay for me. Um, so, in that one year and nine months, I have not allowed anyone to touch my hair but myself. Because I wanted my hair to grow. I wanted my hands to learn to love my hair. I wanted to learn to love my hair, and I wanted to learn to accept my hair for what it was. But um, now I believe it's time for a change and time for new things for the year of 2014. So I will be. <coughs> Sorry, I'm coming down with a little cold, unfortunately. But um, as of tomorrow, which is January 21st, I will be putting in some kinky twist in my hair with this, with these braids. So I am going to be going to the hairdresser tomorrow. Um, she's a friend of mine, and she works on natural hair only. So I know she. I hopefully know. Hopefully she knows exactly what she is doing. And so this will be the first time that, other than my hands, someone else's hands will be going in my hair. Um, so this is the hair that I got, okay, um, it is called Soft and Natural, the original, premium quality, 100% Naclon fibers, um, it is the color 1B, um, it feels really, really natural, really, really soft, actually. It feels really, really soft and not hard. Okay, so I already like how it feels, and this is actually my first time opening the package and feeling the package. Okay, so you guys are f we're doing the same thing together, we're actually feeling the hair, and I'm actually telling you for the first time what it feels like to me. So this is the hair, and it feels very, very soft, <clears throat> and um, yeah, so this is what I'm going to be putting in. It is not real human hair, um, but it is, um, it is what I am starting with for now, because I didn't want to put the real human hair in my head, and I didn't like the way that it turned out. Because I am very finicky about braids in my hair. Um, I do not like braids that much. But as I said, I wanted to try something new and I wanted it to be done by someone who was very professional and knew what they were doing. So, this is what I am going to be doing for the month of February. And if I don't like it, it will be coming out. That's just who I am. Um, <clears throat> so, for the last week, I have been getting my hair, my, my own hair prepared for these braids to go in. Oh my goodness, I cannot get this thing in the package. Um, anyways, whatever, I'm going to get it in after. So, what I have been doing <coughs> is for the last week, I did, uh, last week, I did a deep conditioning in my hair in order to get it prepared, um, to install that hair. Because I was actually originally supposed to get it done on Friday. The 18th, Friday the 17th. Sorry. I was supposed to get that hair put in on Friday the 17th. But um, due to circumstances, I couldn't get it done that day. So I'm going to be getting it done tomorrow, which is January the 21st, Tuesday. 
Um, so what I did um, last week was I did a uh, full deep conditioning, um, <clears throat> and then I actually no, I did a hot oil treatment, and then I did a full deep conditioning. <clears throat> and today I did a shampoo and a wash just so that my hair my hair can be completely completely clean for when the braids do go in and especially because I didn't really want someone else's hands washing my hair um i actually wanted it to be my hands um so that my hair doesn't get confused as to what's going on and so i just and plus i didn't want to pay the extra extra money in order to get my hair deconditioned hot oil treatment and washed just to be put the braids in because I'm already paying $65 Canadian in order to get those kinky twists put in and that's already a little dent in my budget that I don't have but I wanted to get this done and see how well it turned out and see if I would ever do it again so <clears throat> yeah that 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 is my plan um that's to put this kinky twist protective style in for the month of February. I plan to try and wear it out for four weeks. Four weeks. Um, <clears throat> I know some people put their hair in for six weeks, sometimes eight, but I know that four weeks for me is more than enough. And then I will need to feel my actual hair again before I can go back and put another set of hair in it and plus I want to give my hair a break in between because I don't want it to be ripped and I don't want it to twirl and I don't want split ends I really don't want it because I've already had to deal with breakage in the month of December because I had dry hair my hair was dry from the winter heat and plus I wasn't really doing any deep conditioning for the month of December and that kind of caused my hair to break and when I finally decided to do a hot oil treatment and a deep conditioning in December the amount of hair that came out of my head from the breakage was ridiculous so I had to give my hair some TLC um, after that in order to just get it back to where it is finally ready to be able to put the hair in so yes when I went to the store I bought this hair and also with it <coughs> For the first few days, because the person who sold me the hair said, for the first few days, there's going to be itching in your hair, in your scalp. Um, especially because you haven't put braids in your hair for a long time. Your scalp is not going to be used to foreign objects in your hair. So you are going to need a braid sheen spray, a braid spray, in order to help eliminate the itching. So I also went and picked this picked this thing up at the same time in order to prevent my hair from itching. Anyways, as I said, what I did was I washed and shampooed my hair. And right now I have them set in the twist. But, um, yeah. And what I did was um, once I shampooed my hair and conditioned it to be moisturized my hair, um, I went ahead and put in my leave-in conditioner, my personally made leave-in conditioner. And what's in here is um, my Cantu Shea Butter leave-in conditioner and my Giovanni 50-50 regular conditioner on top of my castor oil and all my other oils, castor oil, grapeseed oil, you name it, it's there. Um, 
So I went ahead and I put this in after I let half the water sap out with um my turbot towel. I left that in there for about half an hour because my hair is really thick and when it gets water, the water just sucks right in my hair. So I wrapped it up with a turvy towel for a half, about a half an hour. Then once my hair felt dry enough, but not too dry, I went ahead and I put this leave-in conditioner. And then <clears throat> I mixed it with my oil, all my oil mixtures, again, which has castor oil and grapeseed oil and olive oil and all that good stuff in here and then I went ahead and with this Shea Moisture Restorative Conditioner I use this as a setting conditioner or as a setting lotion um, I don't I've never used it to wash my hair. I've only ever used this to style my hair, and it helps a great deal. Um, it keeps the hair together, and yeah, um, I have never used it to wash my hair. I've only ever used it to help set my twist so that my twist stays in place. That's it. And then, in order for my curls to come out once I pull out my twist, um, in the day when I do wear my hair natural, I use my curl and style milk from Shea Moisture. Um, these are what I use just to set the twist um, along with the set my curl pattern that I want to have for the next week. That's what I use. Um, but I'm not really paying too much attention to the curl pattern. I just wanted my hair to be well moisturized before but I went in and put the braids in and then so that I didn't have anything to worry about after before that fact. Now I spoke to the lady that is going to be doing my kinky twist and um, she said, because I didn't know anything about washing the hair before it was placed in my head. So what I'm going to do is as she's doing that tomorrow, I will be filming it and then I will be uploading it onto YouTube so that you guys can watch it as she does it to know what to do. So stay tuned for that video when it comes out, okay? Um, once again, I thank you guys for watching so much and um, you will see my hair once it's done. I will, you will be the first to see and um, I hope you guys like it. I hope I like it. I hope it's a good experience for me. Um, and yeah, so please remember to thumbs up this video, subscribe to my channel, and once again, I thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video, okay? Bye!